the kitchen. It's a pretty big kitchen. Next to the door on the left we have the shoe box. And then on the right we have a general storage with a bunch of shelves. I use that as a medicine cabinet and I have some cleaning products in there. This is the washer. It's only cold water, which is really sad. Some new places in Japan have hot water hookups to their washer as well, uh, which is, I think, totally necessary, and I hope someday to have one. The stove is run on gas, and uh, my hot water is also on-demand, gas-based hot water. On-demand is great. Um, I think everyone should be using it because tanks are just a giant waste of energy. I have this electric oven here. Um, I can make cakes and cookies in it. Um, I don't have a microwave, but I haven't had a microwave for five years, and for the five years before that I had one and I never used it, so I'm pretty happy without it. In terms of storage, uh, I have way too much in this place. It's much larger than I need. Um, I'm happy having a large place because I can host guests. So if you want to come visit, please do. And this uh, is, I suppose, my living room or possibly the guest bedroom if I put down some stuff on the floor or rearrange it a little. Uh, this is my office lounging area, the chair that I use a lot, and then my computer which has uh, the fairly large monitor, uh, 27 inch I suppose, and some nice speakers but I can't use them uh, at any loud volume because it's an apartment. And then down here we have my, my printer, which is um, hooks up by Wi-Fi to my computer, so I don't have to run a wire for it. And then I have my computer here, and the case is kind of old. It looked really good when I got the case, but the case itself is not exactly high quality. It's kind of... So this is the living room, and then I have uh, this LED light up there. Uh, and it's... I guess a lot of the LED lights in Japan these days, you control them with a remote control, so there's no light switch on the wall that would be extra wiring, and it's easier just to have a remote control, or if you've an older light. It would... There's a building right next to mine. Here you can see the building next door, and here's my, my pole for laundry. Again, you put it on the hanger, and then you just set it out there. Um, my window here is single pane, so it's going to vent a lot of heat. Um, the windows, windows don't get too cold, but I can use these thick curtains. These are fairly good for keeping the heat in or out. Uh, they're very good for blocking the light as well. And then here's the, the bedroom. It's a tatami floor, um, which is kind of annoying because you have to be careful with the furniture. So this is my bed, and it fits quite well. Notice what I've done here. At the moment, there's some there's a dark brown... Uh, wooden square and under that is some cardboard and later I'll get rid of the cardboard. Um, the tatami right now is this green color. Here you can see it quite well. It's going to start to dry out and then examples of it. It's kind of a little yellowish here compared with here and that's not the light reflecting differently. That's the tatami drying out a little and as the tatami dries out more it'll turn even more yellow and there's no problem with that. It's not going bad or anything. But when it's drying out, the stuff that's covered dries out more slowly. So in another week or two, I'll slide my bed a foot this direction towards me, and then the things, the areas under the posts will be able to dry out and catch up with the rest. And then now we're looking at my closet. I have storage here. This is where I keep my clothes and my sheets and my bags. And then I have some extra storage there for a little bit of camping stuff, although I haven't used it for this place costs around $850 a month. My old place cost around $660, uh, and the difference is that this place is a much better location, and it was uh, redone, the interior was refinished more recently. But it's quite old uh, originally, and then it's far from the station, and that helps keep the price down a little. It's also west, western Tokyo, outside of the 23 central wards. So that's gonna help with the price some, but it's fairly large, so that brings the price back up a little. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's been a week, and uh, I really like being able to get to school in 10 minutes, and then the more 
convenient location for me is that one of the places I go in the evenings a lot is now a short bike ride or a long walk or a bus if the weather's bad.